pull up from the fluorescent tubes gravity fed uh, one youtuber asked me and I'll put his name in the title would it work with a TV so I got the TV here and I've got a wheelbarrow full of rainwater so I'm gonna try it out it may work it may not work now the sun is out today it's a beautiful day today my hair is newly shaven and we're gonna do the experiment and we'll see what uh, happens just uh, time to disassemble this TV for that uh, vacuum test and see if it works. Uh, let's have a look at this bloody screw. Let's see. Po, push, push. Po, the cat from the neighbors is watching what I'm doing. <laughs> Time for submerge and test and see what happens. Can we see that? Of course, always have a set of these. Just in case the thing decides to break earlier or so. Let's hands at the right angle. There we go, it's sucking already. Let's see how much water we get in the device. This submerged in the water, so yeah, that's good. It's sucking, and we'll check how full this lamp is. I was hoping to see a vortex on the device, but it's not happening, of course. The reason I use a 14 inch TV set is because it's lighter, yeah, it's still sucking. Still happy. We're still dealing with a vacuum in the device. Cool, when you open it, you see the color change. Uh, I think we have equalized now. Let's see, the thing is going to look. Oh, yeah, that's pretty heavy. This TV is pretty heavy now. Get rid of these things and I'll see how full how much water it has absorbed loosening the clamp screw etc. It is pretty full. You can actually see the water level here. Holding it a bit of an angle, so I would say it's about 85% full. This thing. I'm gonna pour it out in the bucket. We'll see how much there is. Well, let's see how much water was contained in this lamp. So good. The 
bear in mind I whistled out some air too a few times. This is a good uh, five liters of water there. This is a 15 liter pail. I guess that lamp is about well five and a half liters, maybe six liters. So yeah, it's vacuumed really well, as good as the fluoro tube. I got these two tubes still sitting here. I want to use the heating element, the filament cathode uh, for heating. See if I can get it to ball. That's in another video, so stay tuned, guys. I may do this with a uh, bigger TV too. I need to work out the logistics, but yeah, this is the Rodolco 2007. Thanks for watching. Take care. Playing with vacuum. Devices have some safety glasses on, that's uh, definitely good practice.